Okay, so this is going to be a short one because I'm super busy and I'm in the middle of a big theater festival and we're performing and I have classes and blah, 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 and I actually have to leave in like 15 minutes to go perform. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay, a 21-year-old man who is a JetBlue employee wound up in the cargo bin of one of their flights from New York to Boston and he apparently called... JetBlue officials once he realized, hey, I'm not on the ground anymore. Uh, and they, did, they, they found him when the plane landed in Boston on Saturday, and he was fine. And, you know, there weren't any charges pressed against him. I don't know why there would be any charges pressed against him, but, you know, I don't, I don't really know the laws in terms of, of um, you know, airline safety and people being in the cargo bin, because I don't think that happens too often. But now officials are trying to figure out how he ended up in the cargo bin in the first place. In other news, PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, a company who is famous for their, let's say, unorthodox uh, protest methods, aka they like to show videos of animals being killed for food or clothing, and they like to throw paint on fur coats. They've published a new ad with Cloris Leachman, who is 82 years old and has apparently been a vegetarian for the past 50 years. She is standing very elegantly in a dress that is made completely of lettuce. And it's actually really pretty. Like, the dress itself is really pretty. And she looks great, but it's weird. Like, she's, ra she's wearing lettuce. She's wrapped her body in lettuce. I'm going to link in the sidebar the the ad because it's really worth seeing. And finally, in news that possibly only I care about. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> in the men's NCAA basketball tournament, <sighs> Villanova beat Pittsburgh and Michigan State beat Louisville to get into the Final Four with UNC and University of Connecticut, which for me was an issue because my bracket had Pitt and Louisville playing, and then Pitt beating UNC, and then UConn beating Louisville, and then UConn is my, who I have as my champion, who I'm still hoping for, but we'll see. Okay, that's it for today's Newsday Tuesday. Meredith, I'll see you tomorrow with Bookworm Wednesday.